Hello and welcome to the county of Portsleydale. My name is Badger and on this quickie guide episode type thing we are going to be talking about the postal service and how it works within this realm. So number one you're going to need to unlock 80,000 population to unlock the the hub facility and below that you just got your post offices now how those two tie together is basically the f sorting facility here is a big hub where all the post office lorries come in and they sort out all the mail here to go to the post offices in the local area that's these ones so big trucks roll in uh, from outside of the world via these motorway systems and they will come to this sorting facility once the post is sorted they will then transfer it to a little post office like this and then from there the post office will transfer it in little vans going out to all the little residential areas so if we press play we should see a post office van pop out yeah there we go so a little post office van that will go and deliver to the citizens around here uh, compared to the big lorry things. Now you obviously don't want that in a built up area because we're going to have a big built up city area, densely populated area around here so we wouldn't want lorries coming in and out and everything is, and separating all the posts from within the heart of the city so we have them on the outskirts and that way always can roll in get their post sorted and then it goes off to like nice and easily external post comes in fire the motorway system gets sorted and then goes off down the motorway and places to these internal little post offices so that's how the system works in theory now why why would you want to put this in well it increases your population happiness and we're going to try and test that we see our residential happiness is 81 so hopefully by the end of this video it should be slightly more happy because no one's got any post so how are we going to do this well first of all let's not waste any money let's put our post office here and now we need to put in our sorting center so we're going to have a nice straight line coming off here and then I like to keep my areas kind of industrial for this sort of thing and boom perfect now you could have them just come up and turn around but that's kind of inefficient for me don't really like that so I like to come up to the top here over one down and across so it's basically like a mini roundabout for them. If anything accidentally comes in here they're going to just spin round. And yep. So you can, what I also like to do is just throw some extra buildings in just to try and give it that feeling of more of an industrial center. Or there's like, you know, there's more purposes than just sorting posts out here. So very quickly we'll just, just for example, put down a recycling center and we will also give them another way in and we'll cut that out and there we go and also maybe dr dress it up with a few little you know offices and things and that way it looks used and that there's people actually using this space Uh, probably have to bring power over. Yep. So now we need our post offices. We got one for that area, and now we need to put one in Badger Town. Ooh, so sorry. Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Oh, it's going to have to be that one. So there we go. So you just treat them like parks, really. So you can see, like, our one over here 
Let's lit up that area. And annoyingly, something's not missed. One second. There we go. And yeah, so now we're just going to go into each town and give each town its post office. Just freeballing it now. They would definitely need one because they're the furthest away. I'm just trying to put them in the middle of the town where they would normally be. I think that, that, that will cover, those two will cover each other, surely. And, you know, happy assistant sons mean that, you know, they pay more taxes, more people want to live here, and it goes, land value goes up, house prices go up, it's all, all part of the ecosystem. And, as we can see, so, right, let's see if we can catch one. You. So that's coming from Westfield, which is, like, somewhere out of the zone. So that's going to come in. Around the roundabout here. Offload its stuff. And it takes all the stuff for that we want to send to Westfield. Out and off it goes. See, nice and easy. That's why you put them on the outskirts. Now, to really get maximum benefit out of this, what you would want is a cargo terminal but we don't have that unlocked yet because we need 11,000 population but if you had a cargo terminal here then any mail brought in by train would get off the train travel down the road here and come to the sorting center and any mail that was going outwards would just come out the sorting center go around and into the cargo center and it's the same thing with the cargo airport as well so that is how you can really maximize lower the amount of traffic and just to have better ease of traffic is just to have the two two things close by otherwise if the cargo transport like train was here all the mail trucks would be coming off here coming down here and making an absolute mess of a time rather than if they had their own train station here or if there was a sorting facility nearer here Hopefully that would make sense. So, has this increased our level of happiness? Not really. It might do over the years. As it like, settles into the city. But how many of them have got post yet? Okay, quite a few have got post. See if we can grab one that's going out to a post center. No, nope, also turn this. So the mail's come in. Let's go to Rockwood. There we go, this one's returning to the, this one's going to a post office with a full sack of stuff. So he's going straight for the motorway exit, which is what we wanted. God, I hate that junction. Might have to look at that junction, it's getting quite busy. I need to put like a back entrance on it. It's 
there we go he pulls in he takes it and he's going to take the post back to the mail sorting facility to go and give it to other cities on the outskirts Oh, someone tried to rob the post office. You see now he's going back to the posting facility. Oh, that was weird. Um, yeah. So that happens on that side and then down here with that mail he just dropped off. Oh, we just missed one. He's now going around and delivering his load two people. See, much more nicer to have a little car going around delivering posts than it is to have the, like, the big lorries. So yeah, that's basically how it works. I guess without the sorting centre, then lorries just go to and from the post offices instead of to and from the sorting centres. But yeah, that is how post office works and those services they're just here to increase happiness basically and it just gives a little bit more realism to your city that this kind of thing goes on and ideally you would have a cargo hub next to it with some kind of train or or something but before then putting it by a motorway is always a safe bet because that way it allows external traffic and internal traffic to go and mix easily at point here rather than in a built up centre downtown or something and yeah that was it I think that will that will kind of do for today and yeah I hope you guys have a lovely day thank you very much for watching and I hope that helped if not let, leave me a comment and I will try and help you with it all right guys bye have a great day i hope you enjoyed that and remember to like subscribe and maybe even hit that bell notification button so you don't miss out on the next episode oh we still got some seconds why not give me some feedback in the comments below it would be greatly appreciated and bonus you can find me on your favorite social media platform links are in the description below until next time have a lovely day